This is the Cholo News Report for Saturday 10, August 2019. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has given waivers to 31 small oil refineries, freeing them from obligations to blend biofuels into their gasoline. Since Trump took office, the EPA has more than quadrupled the number of waivers it has granted to refiners, saving the oil industry hundreds of millions of dollars. Corn growers, who claim the move, threatens ethanol demand. A massive power failure affects most of the northwestern and southeastern United Kingdom and London, leaving thousands of homes, various train lines, and parts of Newcastle International Airport without power. Passengers are seen inside a Vauxhall underground station during the power cut in central London, Britain, August 9, 2019, in this picture obtained from social media video. London, the southeast and northwest of England and Scotland were impacted, leaving hundreds of thousands of people temporarily without electricity. Members of the public posted images on social media, which showed the tube network in the darkness and people having to use their mobile phones as torches. Canadian tourist Christian Lee Baxter, who had been held in Syrian detention since 2018, is released in Lebanon. Lebanon's security chief Abbas Ibrahim, who appeared alongside him, said the Canadian was detained for reasons related to breaking Syrian law. Canada's Foreign Minister Christian Freeland told reporters in Calgary on Friday that she is personally relieved by this outcome and ensure Mr. Baxter's family and loved ones are as well. She added that despite the positive outcome in this case, that it should remind us all to exercise a high degree of caution when traveling to dangerous parts of the world. All Parisian claims French, its head of security Yves Bonnet, brokered a secret deal with FOTA in the 80s offering immunity in exchange for no further terror attacks in France. Investigators also kept in the dark over the deal, have asked to interview other members of the intelligence services who have refused to speak until now, claiming it was a matter of national security. Deputy Prime Minister of Italy Matteo Salvini presents a vote of no confidence against Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte. With Parliament in summer recess, Salvini has summoned all lead lawmakers back to Rome on Monday, and is pushing for a vote on the motion as early as next week while opposition parties would prefer to wait until August 1920. Kyrgyzstan's security forces storm the compound of former President Elmaz Bek Atambov on the outskirts of Bishkek, for the second time after a failed overnight raid left one officer dead. Atambov and his loyalists are putting up severe armed resistance, according to President Soren Beijing Bakov. Atambov has now been detained, ending the two-day standoff. The confrontation between Jean Bukov and his former patron and predecessor risks destabilizing the Central Asian nation which hosts a Russian military airbase and is a major center for gold mining.